we felt, feel that it has been quite successful at our school and we just thought we might list some of the things that helped us to helped us achieve success and that was that the curriculum making our curriculum focus meetings focused directly on what we had, had learned at the AIZ so if if John had taught us about getting knowledge ready we then went and planned some PD with the staff about getting knowledge ready while it was still fresh in our mind while we were still trying it out in our lessons we then went back to the staff and worked with them on that. Um, <clears throat> we also decided that making some resources that would support staff to use the strategies would be really beneficial in keeping them on track and just making sure that everyone's got some sort of support. So some of the things, uh, initially we started with, um, oh, I don't know if I brought it with me actually, a black folder, just a display folder that had a whole list of different um, activities that people could use, some of which we got off the AIZ website. I think they were made by Lakeside Secondary College. There was some, um, you know, a sheet about getting knowledge ready and then 10 different activities that you could do. Um, and then a sheet about um, vocab and 10 different activities you could use. And we just felt that if we gave that as a starting point for teachers, then they had something to look at when they were doing their planning. They weren't just trying to, um, off the top of their head, remember what sort of things they had to do. So that was really helpful in getting it going. Yep. Um, we also made some posters for staff. So we gave, gave them um, a set of posters for their room that just went through the high reliability strategies. And they were just there um, to have in your room so that when you're, you're doing getting knowledge ready, you know, what do you think the text will tell me? Make, make a picture in my mind. What do I know about? Just prompts for the teacher and for the students to help them remember what they had to be doing. We then went to, um, we also made some smaller prompts that children could use individually, um, you know, steps when summarising or reciprocal reading prompts that students could then use themselves um, when they were in a smaller group. Um, and, and we're confident. We sort of made these this year. So we initially just started with the, the black folder and the posters and then have led to making smaller ones that the children can use for themselves. Um, sorry, I covered my bit of writing. We also purchased some reading comprehension kits. Um, the into inferencing, which supported the teaching of reading comprehension. Um, and we've made some visual aids, as I said to you before. We also made a writing continuum folder that, um, well, actually we didn't make it. Um, I have to say, uh, Lorraine and Lena provided us with a bigger writing continuum folder. And then what we did was broke it up into little bits so that um, each teacher just got the part that was appropriate to the level they were teaching. And it's got writing samples. And that was just to help them. It's got the continuum in here and it's got writing samples at each level. So it was just to help them with their writing program. Um, uh, we had some staff attend some further professional development with John Munro and also with um, Lorraine Edwards, and that was really helpful in helping them to further understand the strategies that we were trying to teach. Um, Liz and I this year did some um, PD with Lorraine Edwards, and we found that that was uh, really where we needed to go because we found that after the first year the teachers knew the strategies really well but we just felt like we didn't know where to go to next and then when we started with the PD with um, Lorraine it was a perfect extension of what we'd already been doing so it you know with the questioning teachers yes the children were asking questions but we learned about inferencing and how to ask inference questions and how to create inference questions and um, and so this year our our PD has focused more on, on those areas. So we've been teaching more about questioning, more about the reciprocal reading process. So the children are using some of the strategies they've learned in, in some of those processes. And that really fit in well. We found that it was a perfect extension on what John had done. And I think that's it for me. Can you just press the end buttons for me now? <laughs> In addition to the aspects that um, Connie spoke about, <clears throat> some of the other key actions that helped to successfully implement the key literacy strategies at our school were that the learning leaders developed. Sorry, <laughs> what am I pressing? <laughs> Who's next? You can tell that I'm not the technical one. Just next all the time. Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay. 
Um, we developed a literacy implementation plan, which will, there's a um, sample of it on another slide. The plan outlined each of the strategies and what they would look like in each of the different areas of the school. It helped to explain to the teachers what they needed to be doing for each of the strategies, as well as what the students would be doing. This helped us as teachers to know what stage each of the strategies was at and what sort of, the, what sort of things the students should be saying, making and doing for each of the strategies. And I yeah, apologise that it's a bit small, but it's harder to get it a bit bigger. But And this has changed over the course of the two years because, of course, when we first introduced it, we were doing a lot of the modelling and the children were practising and now it's um, very much embedded in our literacy teaching practice. Sorry. Just enter. Staying on track. Helping our school to stay on track was a professional development sessions presented by Lorraine Edwards that Connie and I attended. These sessions uh, created a valuable repertoire of key comprehension strategies that are being used towards improving reading comprehension at our school. Some of the strategies we focused on particularly from these sessions were teaching inference, reading fluency and reciprocal reading. And in terms of the writing moderation samples, as Connie's already spoke about, um, that we received at Lorraine's session, we decided to create the folders and um, each of the teachers has the areas that they're teaching in, as well as um, levels below and above to cater for those students that are not working at expected levels. And um, we use these folders um, readily in our discussions about writing. Staying on track. As learning leaders and classroom teachers ourselves, Connie and I could see or can still see that the literacy strategies are being adopted by the teachers and being seen as valuable towards improving reading comprehension. Some of these strategies such as reciprocal reading and summarising became the focus for our collegiate visits and this provided us with some accountability that we were practising these strategies in our classrooms as well as allowing us to identify any areas that teachers needed further support in. Following our travelling um, metaphor, we're in cruise control at the moment because um, as the heading suggests, we feel that at this particular stage at our school, um, uh, the, the, stab the key comprehension strategies are well established in the classrooms and are being used regularly and confidently in our planning documents and by the students. Our PLT meetings. Our existing student learning meetings um, had, have been replaced with the professional learning uh, meetings where the focus remains on student learning these PLT meetings are a structure uh, in place where our student learning goals are being monitored based on evidence that we collect. Uh, all teachers were provided with a resource folder that um, contained all their rocket reports, all their um, class reports, as well as the different learning stages that um, the Melbourne Uni um, team provided us with and um, performers where we recorded our common middle and low students and they're, they're seen as a valuable forum where uh, strategies um, and ideas are discussed to help um, improve student learning. Overall, we can feel positive in knowing that our students are using the key comprehension strategies with more confidence. We have established a culture of teachers working together in teams to collectively take on the responsibility for improving student outcomes. And it is obviously pleasing for both Connie and I and our whole leadership team to see the various forms of data that are being collected showing an improvement in reading comprehension. And now we're, we've begun to think about the future and where we're moving on to next. As a result, a whole school literacy plan is currently being developed in line with the AIZ recommendations. <coughs> 